Learning Management System, or LMS, it is a software that is designed specifically to create, distribute, and manage the delivery of educational content. A learning management system provides a place to learn and teach without depending on the time and space boundaries. It is an online portal that connects teachers and students. It provides an avenue for classroom materials or activities to be shared easily and enables teachers and students to interact out of the classroom. In this video, we're going to look around NDDU's Moodle online classroom. So you will be familiar with where to find things you want to do and access your important course information. To access NDDU's Moodle LMS, use the given link. Once you are in the website, you will be asked to input your login credentials. Type in your username and password. When login is successful, home page will be displayed. It will show you the available courses and the teacher's name. On the left side of the screen are your global navigation items. These items are part of Moodle but not specific to any one course. This is where you're going to access the courses that you are currently enrolled in. Let's open Dashboard. This view will show you course cards for each of your current courses. The course cards show you the name of the course. You can click on any card to enter the course and get to work. On the right side of the dashboard, you can see your timeline. This will show you assignments, quizzes, and discussions that have a due date. You can sort it out by dates or you can sort it out by courses. Scrolling down, you also have upcoming events. This will show you upcoming items for your Moodle calendar. Next, let's take a look at your account settings. Go to the upper right corner of your screen. Select Profile. Click the Edit Profile button to set up your profile. Here, you can change your profile. You can change your email address. In the description, you may add information about yourself which will then be displayed in your profile page for others to view. You can even add a photo of yourself. Save and update profile. Moodle has also this call out icon for you to send messages. You can send messages to your instructor or other students in your course through Moodle. Going back to our navigation, we have private files. You can save some private files inside Moodle. You can drag and drop files here to add them, or you can choose File Picker. Let's take a look one of the courses. We'll start by looking at some of the basic parts of the course page before moving on. On the left side is your course navigation menu. This is all items that are specific to this course. In the center is the main content area. Topics are the primary way of organizing your course content. Sometimes, the teacher will organize the topics by subject matter, chapters in textbooks, or by weeks. Topics are the way for a teacher to guide you through the course content. In this example, you're expected to view and read the files or resources before taking the assignment or quiz. We can see that there are several different icons that represent different types of items. Like this is a forum, a PDF file, a URL link, an activity to be performed, a PowerPoint presentation, and a quiz. Let's open the forum. This forum is used by the teacher for the class to have a synchronous discussion about a certain topic. A student can also see other students' posts. To post your views and opinions, click Reply. Then click Submit. Here's our reply and now let's go back to our course. For the class orientation, the teacher provided a link for online live class discussion. 
we are directed to another website. So open Zoom meeting. Aside from Zoom, the teacher might use other video conferencing tools such as Skype, Google Hangouts, or Big Blue Button. In this topic, the teacher provided a PowerPoint presentation, a PDF file, they have a live class session, and they will have an assignment. Let's try to open the assignment. We have here some instructions how to do the assignment. The teacher also provided the students with a downloadable video for them to be guided with the assignment even they are offline. We have some files to be downloaded. In here, we have the due date and time remaining. If the student wants to submit their work, just click Add Submission. To upload the submission, you can drag and drop files here to add them or you may use the file picker. Then click Save Changes. Now, let's have a quiz. So the student is only allowed to attempt the quiz once. So even though the quiz is available for 2 hours, the student can only attempt the quiz for 30 minutes. Let's try to attempt the quiz. We have one question and this question is an essay type. We're going to type in our answer. When you're done, click finish attempt. If you want to return to your attempt, just click return attempt. If you want to submit your answer, click submit all and finish. Let's try to have another quiz. In this quiz, the student can only attempt once. Even though it's available for 2 hours, the student can only take it for 45 minutes. Let's attempt the quiz. In this quiz, we have 10 questions. So this is question number 1. If you want to go back to your attempt, just click Return to Attempt. If you're done, just click Submit All and Finish. In this performance task, the teacher provided some instructions and downloadable video so that the students can be guided in doing the performance task even they are offline. Thank you for joining me on this tour of your NDDU Moodle Online Classroom.